Thank you and welcome to Building Maneno's episode two. In this episode, you're going to talk about how you get an architect, why is an architect important, and basically, uh, where does the architect come in in the construction? But before we jump into that, there is a perception, let me not call it a perception, but I think there's a mindset that architects are expensive. And uh, there are options of uh, going to down, downtown Kimathi Street, buying some plans, or going maybe to Kenya Poly, getting someone to do for you a draft, and then you just go and build. Yes. So how, how, where, what's the importance of an architect first? Architects, like any other consultant, professional, we've been trained to solve an issue yes. in the industry. Mm-hmm. And that's what we are. Mm-hmm. Six years of training mm-hmm. cannot just be nothing. Okay. We are trained to help you create the space that you want to exist in. Mm-hmm. And this is case in point for your home. Okay. Your home is a permanent place where you're going to live. So you want somebody who can understand you and put your ideas in a creative way, in a form that then you can realize the space that you want. We are not expensive. And you will know as we continue with this conversation on building Manenos, why the architect is the most important person when it comes to your home or any other construction for that matter. And then you shall realize, after all, we are not that expensive. Okay. Now for the viewers who are watching, maybe some some of our viewers uh uh, overseas and uh, intending to buy or to construct, where would you say is a source for them to get an architect, a good architect? Because you are in the US, you're in Canada, you're whatever, but you just want to know how do I source for a good architect? Where does one store? Is there like a website where we can get some uh, rankings or how does one go about it? So in Kenya here, and this is very critical, Kenyans yes. should know, Architects are regulated by the Board of Registration of Architects and Quantity Surveyors. So they have a database okay. of architects who are in good standing. Mm-hmm. And we have the Architectural Association of Kenya, which is our lobby group. And again, there we have members who are in good standing. So it's very easy just to go into the website and look out for the architects. Okay. And it's good to look for several options. Okay. And the other most trusted way, considering it's, it, this is the, the kind of trade that it is, is through referrals. Mm-hmm. You have friends who've had uh, successful projects, you call them and you say, who did you work with? Would you recommend that architect? That is also a very good way of doing it. Just the way we do with doctors and wow. most of the other consultants. Yeah. But in some cases, you find that uh, builders or homeowners, you might not get a referral because you've never even sometimes seen an architect on site. <laughs> true. That's true. That's true. Yes. So what, what other options are there for you to, to source? Can I go, if I see a good building, go ask uh, someone who's done the architect? Yes. What other options are there? That's also a good one because I've, I've seen a lot of Kenyans do that, that you walk around because these days it's mandatory that every site must have a sign, site signboard mm-hmm. and in it is written the architect as well. Mm-hmm. So if you like what you see on that site, you can actually just take those details mm-hmm. and you can get their contacts. If not from that site, you can still get their contacts back from the Architectural Association of Kenya, which keeps a database of all the, all practicing architects. So there, there are many ways. You should never be stuck in being unable to find a, a good architect. But the important is, one thing that is important is that you have to get an architect for your project. That is critical. The first step to any successful project is getting an architect because we are trained to look at the whole, the whole project, right from design all the way up to the construction. By the time you hand over your key, your architect is supposed to be part and part of the process with you. What are some of the, I mean, things you have to look out for in order for you to get the right architect? Another apart, critical question. Yes. Thank you, Nick. Just the due diligence. Yes. You see, like any other consultant in your life, you have to also do due do, do, do diligence, yes. isn't it? We've yeah. had some architects who've been struck off yeah. for malpractice, but there are also some very good architects in the market. So how do you get the right one? You have to compare. You have to get uh, their names. You have to go around and see the work they have done. Have them take you around to their sites. Mm-hmm. Have them show you the clients uh, who they have done work for. Mm-hmm. Get a recommendation from their previous contracts. Mm-hmm. It's important. You can even demand to see some of their contracts just to be sure they were actually contracted in that in in a previous you know wow. work that is similar to what you want to do. So due diligence for any consultant, including an architect, is important. That way, then you can work with them. You get the right person to work with you through your journey. Do architects? You, you mentioned that architects are licensed or regulated by the architectural board, right? Yes. 
you get a practicing number or something like that, like yes. a certified uh, practitioner? Yes. Actually, okay. just after campus, let me demystify this one. Mm -hmm. After you graduate, you're supposed to work for a certain period of time under a licensed architect who oversees the work that you do within that period of time and recommends you mm -hmm. for an exam. We actually oh. sit for a board of registration exam okay. from which you get a license and it comes with a number. Okay. And then from there, you have to go and register with the association, which is the lobby oh. group. And the lobby group will give you annual licenses just to show that you are in good standing. So really, you can. There's no reason why uh, you cannot go out there and look for the right architect for your project. So you had it. You have to do your due diligence on getting the right architect. You've got several ways you can source for a good architect. You can see projects. You can ask around for your referrals. But also, which is something that uh, I think we we need to capture is. When you get the architect, what is this coming on board to help you with? Because that's the next thing. Okay, I've got an architect. They're not as expensive as it's put out there. So what's the next thing? Where, where do they come in? When you let an architect guide you yeah. on your project, mm -hmm. he does several things. Even before he starts designing your home, yeah. he first goes to the land. Mm -hmm. He understands the land. Mm -hmm. Then he sits down with you and draws up a brief, understands what exactly it is that you want to do. Mm -hmm. And then he will, that's where the creativeness now kicks in because okay. he takes your needs mm -hmm. and the land and he puts it together and gives you your dream home. Very critical. Okay. Beyond that, he helps you with an overall mm -hmm. uh, understanding of what the costs would be like okay. or how the process of construction should be like and advises you mm -hmm. on things like material finishes and what kind of contractor then you shall need. And, you know, all that. So he helps you bring the whole project together. And do they also help you in sourcing for different consultants? Yes, absolutely. That's mm -hmm. the other thing. Mm -hmm. Once he begins to break down the project after it has been designed, mm -hmm. then he'll help you bring in all the other elements, the other consultants. You'll need a quantity surveyor to break down your elements into costs. Mm -hmm. You'll need engineers for structure. You need engineers for your plumbing works and your electrical works. Yes. And you'll need a civil engineer for civil works, depending on the nature of your of your project and okay. any other landscape architects, interior designers. This is the person, the architect is the one at the top because he bears the vision together with yourself. And then he'll put together a team for you okay. that will help you bring your dream to realization. Fantastic. So you've had it. You, you know now how to look for an architect, how to get one, and also where the architects comes in, in your building. We've had a lot of cases where people are going and building without architects later to come and realize that they could have been helped here or there. But to avoid this, get a good architect. Get a good architect. He will guide you throughout the journey. And apart from that, he will also save you costs. <laughs> Cheap is expensive. That's right. So see you in the next episode where we're going to talk about uh, the different consultants who come in play in the whole construction uh ecosystem. Thank you. Hey guys, thank you for watching. So keep it tuned, share, like, subscribe. Cheers.